Welcome back to the channel, guys. This episode, I have set up a portable computer station for the sole purpose of 3D scanning things. So I previously tried to use my regular desktop and that was just such a pain to drag around. So I picked up this cart, have a uh, computer that far exceeds the minimum requirements for the Einstar software. And we are using the Shining 3D Einstar for doing this. And that looks like this guy right here. Tri-camera system. And then as you scan, you got a light indicator that tells you if you're too far, too close, if you're getting good resolution, bad resolution. And this does get down to 0.2 millimeter resolution. So this is a very good 3D scanner. As far as I'm concerned, I've used it several times now. It's just, I needed portability. So once the software finishes downloading on this new dex uh, desktop, we're gonna go ahead and do two things. We're gonna scan the nose and start modeling what that scoop needs to look like. And then I'm gonna scan the top deck on the front. And that way I can do a composite mold and uh, get a casting done, mold it, and replace some of the sheet metal up front with composite. So let's get scanning. As this is loading up, what I'm gonna do, just to show you guys how this works, I'm gonna go ahead and scan the station itself. It's booting up right now. And, thing, okay, so new project. And we're gonna just do this one as test. And then we'll do one millimeter resolution object bum, 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 bum. and then we're going to use for alignment both features and textures which is the hybrid alignment and that way if you get it to a flat spot if it's got multiple color markers are on it or anything like that it helps align it so we're going to do both and we have a compute power for that apply I'm gonna run the calibration real quick. So in the cali in the kit here, we do have a calibration plate, which has these reflector dots in very specific places that are already spaced out exactly as it's supposed to be. So when you calibrate it, it allows it to calculate how far apart everything is. All right. So quick calibration. Let's do the white balance first. Okay. Too close. Okay. White nice and easy. Now the other side. You we weren't done. Quick calibration. See, it shows you exactly where to aim. We got it right there. Now we're just slowly moving it out. Nice and easy.
put this calibration plate away. All right, and we did the white balance already, so we're good to go, ready to rock and roll. Tap play once, you can see it starts showing it on here. Gives you your cult of brightness balance right here. So you wanna adjust that. until you start getting, there we go, the red right there. Okay, and then, working distance. All right, and you can see it started scanning it. So let's go ahead and go. All right. Preview right now. And there we go. And see how it retract to the keyboard. And that's one of the issues with like super reflective surfaces, like the phone right there. Doesn't like to pick that up. We're gonna get down lower, pick up the other angles. And you guys can see it was recovering pretty quickly if it has any kind of uh, misalignment, misses a spot. Just jumps right back to where it was at. that one up pretty badly but it's getting lost in the keys is what's happening here but you guys get the idea here That's what it looks like. I mean, got a little bit of an artifact right here, but that's not too bad. Um, I was going kind of fast and not really caring too much because we're not doing anything with this. And then all you do is then go, you can crop it and stuff too, but we want to go right here optimize, so it's gonna run through, optimize the cloud points, and then it's gonna take and convert everything into a mesh. And then we'll be able to import that into Fusion 360 and use that to uh, develop our models for the scoop and the top deck. And then I did scan the 944 in its entirety, but it did it in point one millimeter resolution. And that just, it will not compute that. Uh, that's too many cloud points. So I got to rescan it at a lower resolution. And then I can 3D print a couple out. All right, so we got it optimized. 
Now we're going to take and down here, mesh model, click that. Semi watertight, I'll just leave it on low, apply. And now it's converting it. It's converted to a mesh. You can see it cleared out some of this right here on its own. And that's about it. So we'll delete this and then go start to get even car. got so our point cloud a couple of artifacts here and there but overall pretty good scan good enough for us to keep going so I'll be able to shape that scoop coming in from down here inch and a half below all the way up and we'll do a split somewhere in the middle that way it's able to unfold easily all right, let me go ahead and convert this and export it to Fusion 360. I try to use a big old Modix 120 uh, to print out the scoop in its entirety. That didn't work. I do have the dash already tapped up and ready to do some fiberglass, but we're gonna do all the glassing on another episode. So thank you for watching. See you guys next time. We'll scan some more stuff. <laughs>